The problem reads particles of a charge positive 70 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, positive 48 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, and negative 80 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs are placed in a line. The center charge is 0.35 meters from the other. Calculate the net force on each charge due to the other two. A diagram of what this problem would look like is right here. So from this problem, we know that the first particle is 70 times 10 to the negative 6. The second particle is going to be positive 48 times 10 to the negative 6. And the third particle will be negative 80 times 10 to the negative 6. So first, after looking at the problem, we have to know what we're looking for. So we know that we're looking for the net charge of each particle, of each charge. So we know that we're going to use the formula F E equals K Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. So what Q stands for is the charge. R stands for the distance between each charge. We know that K equals 8.99 times 10 to the 9th Newtons m squared over c squared. We sh should know what K means just from basic information on this subject. And we know R from reading the problem it equals 0.35 meters. So after we know what the equation we're going to use is, we have to also know the direction of each force. Um, knowing the direction of each force is really important because it dep um, depending on which way the force is going to depends on if it's going to be positive or negative. So take F 1 due to 3, for example, if that's positive going in the right direction, then F 3 due to 1 going in the opposite direction of left is going to be negative, or vice versa. So we know that F 1 due to 2 will be traveling in the right di left direction. F 2 due to 1 will be traveling in the left direction. F 1 due to 3 will be traveling in the right direction. F3 due to 1 will, also, will be traveling in the left direction. F2 due to 3 will be traveling in the right direction. And finally, F3 due to 2 will be traveling in the left direction. So next, we are going to solve for F1 due to 2, which is the same thing as F2 due to 1. They should get the same answer. So, using the, the equation Fe equals K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared, we'll plug in 8.99 times 10 to the 9th for K. Then for Q1, since in the equation 70 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs is the first charge listed, that's the number we'll use for Q1. So 70 times 10 to the negative 6. And then for Q2, since positive 48 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs was the second charge, that is what we will use. So 48 times 10 to the negative 6. And then we know R squared equals 0.35 squared. So after we know all the we know what to substitute for the equation. We want to plug these numbers into our calculator, being careful that we use our parentheses in the right um, spot. What we should get for F1 due to 2 is 246.6 newtons. So next, we want to find the force of 1 due to 3, which is the same thing as the force of 3 due to 1. So F equals, so I'm plugging 8.99 times 10 to the 9 for K. Then for Q1, we will plug in the 70 point 10 to the negative 6. And for the Q2, since 
it's 1 due to 3, we have to take the number 3 and look for it in the problem. And, so, and we know that 8, negative 80 times 10 to negative 6 is a 3. And the 1, as we already know, is 70 times 10 to negative 6. So the Q th we will plug in negative 80 times 10 to the negative 6 all over 0.35 squared. And F, 1 due to 3, or F, 3 due to 1, we learn that it equals negative 102.7 newtons. So, next, we want to Next, we want to find F2 due to 3, which is also F3 due to 2. So, F2 due to 3, since we're using the second charge and the third charge, we do K, which is 8.99 times 10 to 9th, and the second charge being 48 times 10 to 6, which will be Q1, and the third charge being negative 80 times 10 to the negative 6, which will be Q2, divided by 3, but divided by 0.35 squared. We find out that F2 of 3, or F3 due to 2, equals negative 2, negative 281.8 newtons. So after we find out the forces of these um, charges, we want to add the vectors up to find the total net forces. So, we want to find the total net force of 1. So the net force of 1. How we find that is we add F of 1 due to 2 plus F of 1 due to 3. So F of 1 due to 2 we know is 246.6 plus F1 due to 3, which is negative 102.7 newtons. So, after adding these two forces, we learn the net force of 1 equals 143.9 newtons. So, okay. So next, we want to find the net force of 2. So same thing, we're going to add up F of 2 due to 1 plus F of 2 due to 3. So F of 2 due to 1 is negative 246.6 newtons plus negative 281.8 newtons. So we'll add up these two numbers on our calculators to get 528.4 newtons. So if you want to box this answer because it's a f the final net force, that's all right. So the last step would be finding the net force of 3. So how we will find this is find by adding F of 3 due to 1 plus F of 3 due to 2. So F of 3 due to 1 is negative 102.7 and F of 3 due to 2 is negative 281.8 newtons. After adding these two numbers, we will get the total net force of 3 to equal 384.5 newtons. And that is how you will find the net forces of each charge. To recap what we went over, um, here is the question again. And here is the order in how you want to go about solving this problem. Okay. So real quick. You want to first 
understand the problem and the equation that you're going to use to solve it. So we use the equation Fe equals K times Q times Q2 divided by R squared. Next you want to find the direction of the forces. Then you want to solve the equation of each force. And then finally, after you know the forces due to each charge, you have to find the net force of everything. So the whole net force is due to one. So as you can see, which is the final answer of the net force is 143 times 143.9 newtons. And then the total net force of two came out to be 528.4 newtons and the last step being finding the net force of 3 which we found out was 384.5 newtons okay hopefully this will help you learn more about physics and the understanding